This episode of Game Bite is brought to you by Quit Stalling and our fine friends over at Jinx.com. If you want 10% off of everything you order on Jinx.com, use the promo code that's on your screens right now. Quit Stalling underscore 366. That's right. If you want 10% off of your tracer pants, off of that Garrosh Hellscream t-shirt, and so much more, use the promo code QUITSTALLING underscore 366 when you check out and save yourself 10%. Diego, if you bought a shirt that's 10 bucks, you save a buck, if my math is not wrong, which it often is, all right? If you, if you buy a shirt worth $100, then you save $10. I'm pretty sure that's how math works. Correct me if I'm wrong, chat. Math is not my strong suit. That's why I talk for a living. So welcome, everyone, to Game Bite, the weekly episodic adventures of two to three fairly young men in their quest to find the meaning of gaming. Uh, most often than not, we just go around in circles and, 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 you know, just talk. We, we, we don't ever find the meaning. Sometimes it's 42. We don't know. But, uh, welcome. Welcome. And welcome everyone in the chat. We know who you're here for. We'll get to him in just a second. We have a special guest. And far be it for me to stall. But, uh, but, you know, I, I do have to introduce someone else first. Because, you know, he's here every week and I might as well. I'm just kidding. We got the maelstrom of hate and profanity. <laughs> it's instant DZ himself. It's Diego Z. How you doing, DZ? Uh, hey. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? Yes, I am the maelstrom of hate and profanity, so I am the reason why our show has been a lot stricter when it comes to, to poo-poo words and Poop. and not non, non-ne'er-do-well language. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, yeah. Um, uh, so it's just gonna be me from the regulars. Uh, sadly, we do not have our uh, other regular, uh, Mick the Ghost Man. He is not gonna be here this week. Mm. He got his wisdom teeth pulled out, so he gotta let those heal. You know, you don't want to talk exactly. with a bloody mouth. Exactly. <laughs> and like those of course, swell up like a lot. Like they tend to swell up, like this month. I've had mine pulled out. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, mine didn't properly heal um, when I had them removed because I refused to to not do my radio DJ work back in college. <laughs> Oh, so is that <laughs> where you get your nice voice? Ones. Is that where you get your nice voice, uh, from, DZ? Yes, because no matter how much pain I'm in, I would I would want to be able to you know do my job. Awesome, Definitely. awesome. Sounds... Well, enough enough about us, Diego. <laughs> we, we've got a very special guest now. He's a rising star in the Twitch community. It's not rising Tapa, star. the one, the only Tapa King. How you doing, TK? Hey, hey, what's up, everyone? Um... My name is Stop Pump King. You ain't call me TK. Uh, <laughs> All right, so yeah, I'm a, I'm a variety streamer currently streaming for, I guess, Twitch. Most of you know, but yeah, that's about it. That's about awesome. it. That's my introduction. That's it. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> happy to be here. Oh, man. It is, it, it we're is happy to man. have you yeah. here. Yeah. yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Oh man, it's, it's such a pleasure. I, I got to meet my for those of you. It's so shiny. It's fine, man. It, it, <laughs> it is glistening. It is gleaming. Glistening. It is, it's, it's, it's majestic. Uh, if I was any closer to my screen, I'd just be like, my eyes! My eyes! <laughs> it, it's, it's amazing. Uh, so, you know, DZ, I don't know if you know this. I met TK very recently at the uh, Rumble Royale. Did I get that right? Rumble, Rumble Royale. Uh, yeah, yeah, Summer yeah, Spirit no, Bomb, yeah, yeah. Uh, aka bomb, yeah. yeah Righteous Glory. It, I got to meet like a lot oh, of streamers okay. there. One person who definitely stood out was TK man, and uh, you know TK, you and I, we, we talked about your story a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, hopefully I, I force I, you. I kind of force you. It's I, fine, I, man. I I, uh, I I trapped him in a corner actually. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you're not getting out. I'm gonna talk to you, man. <laughs> and hopefully, I can get the exact same story again in that because that was interesting. That was that was very interesting. I don't know how much of your following, uh, out of the out of the hundred of hundreds of viewers we have right now, I don't know how many of them know your story because I'm pretty sure all of them are are, are from your stream. We we don't have fans here. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah, I'm just yeah. kidding, Elder Jin. You the man. Uh, Carl Rockhart, uh, but yeah. So I, I do want to I do want to get a recap of that story, or like a, a rewind, because that, that was that was an awesome story. So we'll get to that later on, just a little bit. But what we do here, TK, at the start of every game bite, at the start of every show, I ask the people at home, my co-host, and uh, our guest, what have you been playing? So people in the chat, let us know what have you been playing. 
Uh, Diego Z, show TK how it's done, man. What have you been playing? All right, what have I been playing? Um, there's a game I down. Oh, oh my God, I was able I found this game on um on the on Play Store it's called Click mm -hmm. Apocalypse Two. It's basically a dun it's oh my God, it's like a horrible graphics dungeon crawler that plays on its <laughs> own. Like you pick four, you know, usual medieval class. You have the warrior, you have the priest, the the druid, and the rogue wizard. Or you pick four, okay? Yeah. And they just go about their world on their own. They'll go okay. on their own. They'll do their own thing. They'll, they'll dungeon crawl on their own. Imagine That's Diablo yeah. being played on its own. The only it's thing I have generic. to do... It's generic. Yeah, the only thing that yeah. I have to do is just... Like, if they killed enough monsters... Okay, uh, who leveled up? And I just click which upgrades and everything. Uh, they'll automatically <laughs> pick up weapons and all that. So literally, I'm just... It's like watching my pets grow. Like, but I'm grow, my pretty. <laughs> That's pretty okay, much how it is. Okay, read <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah um aside from that uh usual overwatch um well it's kind of been a slow overwatch week since a lot of the people i play uh, some of the people i play with uh having internet connection uh, because mm -hmm. i've heard a lot of people who have a who use sky as an isp yeah. have been having a hard time connecting to overwatch actually even on other games like PUBG, i have been i just see on my feed like oh sky broadband i can't i can't connect to your your service blah blah, blah whatever oh cable no. internet oh man. Yeah. yeah cable internet sky cable man fix your stuff fix oh, your stuff God. oh speaking of mick the guzman the fury buddies in chat saying he's been playing no man's ski a little bit of no man's sky over there for the fury no man's good stuff nezaru mm -hmm. <laughs> dz nezaru says he's been playing dead cells <laughs> oh nice we're gonna get to that later a lot of controversy yeah, surrounding I... Dead Cells, and it's not even about the actual game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the game looks solid. The game looks so solid. It looks it's like solid. it's nice. I saw someone streaming earlier. Oh, so really? Yeah. It looks like it might be something. Awesome. Yeah, I well, think I want to pick it up of... after the show. Oh yeah. Speaking of streamers, we got a we got a streamer in the house. Stop on King, man. What have you been playing? Hey. Oh. Um. The last thing I played is actually Overwatch. So I've been playing Overwatch for about seven days now. Yes. Uh, funny. Yeah, yeah. But funny story though. Funny story. I had the game since two years ago, I think. I, I bought the box actually. I didn't buy it from Steam. I, okay. I bought it because it was on sale at that time. Uh, mm -hmm. I've been playing Overwatch when people invite me. Like, you do you have Overwatch? Okay, yeah, I can play. Then <laughs> I then no I just I just I just realized that I like Overwatch when I was watching someone play it. So it was one of my um, my subscribers and who re who recently switched to streaming, right? So because all my all my original OG viewers are now streamers apparently. So everyone's a streamer now. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> um, and I I watched this guy and and they were. These guys are professional, uh, professional Overwatch players in Syria, so they actually go on a big stage and compete, and oh, nice. snap, and and a, and a pro level. So they're all game master. What was that? What was that rank? Master Top level. Five hundred. Grandmaster. Yeah, so Grand Grandmaster Grand level. Yeah, yeah, they're all Grandmaster level. So I'm watching them play this game, right? I'm watching them play Overwatch in another level. I was like. Oh man, I want some of that because you know uh, I just realized you can you can play Overwatch at this level because I never ever actually watched someone compete that way. So and then I started playing it. You know I started streaming it seven days ago. And I was like, oh shit, I'm hooked. So and I realized <laughs> most of my viewers yeah. and most of and most of the people <laughs> in my community actually play Overwatch and they started coming in and then I, and I meet a lot of great people like you know Canyon Canyon and Chris Aquino and. You know all, all, all the people in the community and they, they were great people so i kind of fell in love with it yeah uh for, for those of you unfamiliar uh not not that chris Aquino. <laughs> yeah yeah i think i gave you something <laughs> oh so, uh, no and, and bimby uh i dumb drum you know uh, big bimby. papa beard and everyone everyone who i actually knew as streamers you know yeah. stream overwatch and never watch it so because i wasn't interested i'll be honest but now, right now it's like overwatch every fucking day i'm sorry Every day, so. You know, <laughs> uh, no, don't worry. Don't, don't I, hold I do, yourself. I, I do play. I do. I do play Dead by Daylight. 
Um, that was that was a game I I always go to whenever I want to. You know, when when I feel rage from one game, I just go Dead by Daylight and kill people because I'm a main killer. So and then also <laughs> recently I got hooked uh, with Oxygen Not Included. Oh yeah, I yeah, mean, we, we uh, talked about I, that, I, didn't yeah, we? Yeah. When we met up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like. I- yeah, 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 I like I like the game because it it just hurts the brain, you know. I like games that hurts my brain, so oh. yeah, and, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> but then then a lot of people know me as just like, yo, I I want to play something different, so I'll just grab a game in my library and just start playing it. So I'm I'm pretty random like that. So, oh, you will man. never expect what I will stream every day. So it's just, I sometimes I stream five games a stream, five games. Oh wow! I switch. I jump five games to stream so that's that's how weird i am in terms that's of so like cool, dude. i'm i'm pre- i'm a, yeah yeah sorry that, that's it that's it that's no dude I, that's really awesome that's really awesome five yeah, yeah. so what what are the five ones games you're playing stream. recently just overwatch that by daylight oxygen not included um i got into uh when i was watching volley 2 though if you guys know him um, mm-hmm. He was uh, he was uh, playing Path of Exile. I kind of stayed here for an hour. He explained to me the game and it hurt my brain. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get into this because it hurts <laughs> my brain. And, yeah. So Path of Exile might be something that I might like, although I don't oh, wow. do a lot of dungeon crawlers. But yeah, I might get into that. Yeah, there's certain games that just yeah you know, you've never played that genre before, and then when you try one of them, you're just like, wow, this is my thing. Hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. I, I hear Path of Exile mm-hmm. is like the, the one of those games that get people into the the Diablo style gaming or dungeon crawler isometric style games, mm-hmm. which is which is awesome, dude. Uh, yep. Real quick, I want to give shout outs to Tita Gaming who just cheered us on with 50 bits. Aaron Gaming with uh, I think this is 11 in total. Thank you guys so much. We appreciate that. Three, that's two, awesome. Uh, I want I want to go to the chat three. real quick. Uh, Rockheart GG says he's been playing Monster Hunter World for the PS4 because why buy PC? Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> if you want to buy, if you want to buy the PC version, you can play with us. Yeah. Oh, Aaron Gaming! Aaron Gaming just, Aaron Gaming just wants to wants to keep cheering things on. Uh, I hate you, Cullen. <laughs> yeah, no, really, we, we waited we waited long enough for this. Now it's our time. Okay, we're gonna play that yes. game now. Yes, yes, exactly. Okay. Yes, definitely. So I have definitely. it in my arms. All right. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, Nezri DG in the chat says he's been playing Dead Cells, which is awesome as well. Uh, mm-hmm. Let's see. What else have, been pe- have people been playing? Uh, uh, oh, Hearthstone. Elder Jim has been, has been playing Hearthstone. Uh, Final Fantasy. He's, he says he swears he's not Mick. Because <laughs> he's been playing those games. Uh, Kanan has been playing SWAT 4. Overwatch, Ghost Recon, Wildlands, and The Division. Ooh, a lot, a lot of FPSs over there. Good stuff, Cannon. Good stuff. Mm-hmm. Guys, let us know what you've been playing. As for me, Aaron Gaming just wants to wants to cheer like a billion, you know, <laughs> two at a time. Aaron Gaming, I'm, I might have to I might have to <laughs> silence the <laughs> the alerts there. <laughs> no, uh, no, I want I want them bits. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, there's a quick uh quick one. Like Marky uh Marky Q on the chat says he's been he's playing Warframe now. Oh, awesome! Yeah. I'm interested oh, good in stuff. Too. Oh man, but yeah, guys, thanks for asking. So uh, I've been playing Overwatch as well. <laughs> uh, I appreciate you mm-hmm. asking, Diego. You're the man. Uh, I've, I've been playing Overwatch as well, and yeah, I've been having I've been having the, a regular good old time, DZ. I've I've been enjoying myself. Uh, you know, thing, things are transpiring, which are making me even want want to play Overwatch even more. So I, I, I'm just I'm just happy to be in the game, happy to not be on Sky Cable, <laughs> and uh, I, I'm I'm I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm eyeing myself. I know, right? I'm eyeing myself a little more uh, a little more World of Warcraft time this month because you know new content is coming out, content that I have yet to to conquer. So Topic King just made a complete 180 with his. <laughs> With it, with his camera and uh. No, I, I just realized, I was I was staring at yeah yeah that that kind of. Sorry. Don't mind me. Don't mind me, please. Come out. Uh, that's cool. Come out. Uh, but yeah, so it's been awesome. I've been I've been playing Overwatch mainly and some toilet games that, that I've mentioned previously. I, I opened my Hearthstone card packs today. Uh, you get three free because of the new expansion. Oh, so. Man, Hearthstone. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, uh, so so many games, Stop on King. How do you manage these all? I know. Oh, I can't. You don't. 
That's you it. Know? I'm, I'm like three months behind on my library. Like oh, literally wow. three months behind it. Yeah, I've never. I, I bought so many games. I I haven't played them yet. You know, you know the feeling, right? Like yeah, I have a hundred games there that I haven't played. I just keep staring at them. Like one day I'll play you, but not one today. Day. <laughs> Overwatch. One day. Because Overwatch. <laughs> Overwatch. <laughs> one eternity yeah. later. Yeah, oh yeah. it's 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 never gonna get played. Like. I don't know. Maybe, maybe if internet bogs down and it's installed, you know, you know those times oh, yeah. where there's no internet and you have to play that game that doesn't require oh. internet connection. Yeah, yeah. Offline games. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Those offline games. That's that's when you, that's when you play those games. So <laughs> you you save that for those days. You save that for those days. So oh, like man. Titan Quest. Titan Quest is my oh, like, let's man. go Titan Quest. I've been running this game for I don't know God long God knows how long and I have 58 minutes. I'm checking right now. 58 <laughs> minutes. And I bought this back in 2016. What? I still have 58 minutes on this. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 it's, it's pretty stupid. Dude, oh, that, that's insane. It's like it's a yeah, it's insane, yeah. Oh man, that's fun. Uh real quick. Uh, I noticed someone in the chat named Endless Backlog, who is a partner, just said too many games, not enough time. How appropriate is that for this second that someone named Endless Backlog shows up in the chat and says too many games, <laughs> yeah, <that's perfect>. not <laughs> enough time. <laughs> Thank you for gracing our Slack log. Uh, just, uh, he's a good friend of mine. He's a streamer <laughs> of Canada. He's a Canadian streamer, so. Oh, that's he, awesome. He, 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 he too is a variety streamer, so he never streams just one game, just like me. So mm. he, he knows the feeling right now. Oh, yeah, we hear mm. you. We hear you. Oh, man. All right, so All right. now, uh, yeah. has anyone else, Diego, has anyone else mentioned what they've been playing? Potsipi says, I play uh, Tetris you... when I don't have internet. <laughs> oh, oh uh, yeah. Um, Edless Backlog saying he's been, he played Breath of the Wild today, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and Aaron Gaming says he is a competitive CSGO player. Awesome, awesome. Oh, Aaron Game, man. Welcome yeah. to the show. Welcome to the show. We hope you enjoy. Yeah. All right, guys. So uh, we know why you're here. You know, it's not because of me and Diego. It's because of the guy on the lower right of your screen. So we'll get to him right now. Let's do it. Let's talk about TK. Let, let me bring up a... Uh, what's a good soundbite for this? We, we already have one. I keep forgetting which one it is. Mm -hmm. Uh... Let's see. We can just do Your that. call, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. We, I forgot. We, we have the staple. This one's the staple. <laughs> welcome to the end. Yes, welcome to the end, Top on King. Yes, this segment, this interview is brought to you guys <laughs> by the Quit Stalling Geek Cast, where me, Wancho, and Derek O'Brien, a.k.a. Sensei Humor, talk about all things geek and pop culture. 11 a.m. Tuesday. Oh, no, Saturdays. That, that's, that's changed. That's, that's Saturdays. Now. 11 a.m. Saturdays, Philippine Santa Time. Uh, 8 p.m. Friday nights, California time, because we have no lives. No, we do not. Yes, we're going to talk about all things Star Wars, Marvel, DC, and so much more. The Quit Slotting Geek Cast. Check it out. TK, man, what keyboard do you have? Because it sounds so crisp when you type. Like, I, I feel oh, like I want to... No, no, no. Like, I feel like I want to I wanna start, like, playing when I hear your keyboard just clicking. <laughs> it's one of those. You know what I mean? It's yeah. one of those. Yeah, it's uh, Razer Black Widow Chroma. Me too. Ooh. Razor with the Quick green plug. switches. So yeah. Quick plug Sorry. to Razor. <laughs> Quick plug to Razor. Right there. <laughs> All right. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the part of the show where we talk to TK and find out more about him. Top on King. For for those unfamiliar, for the one or two fans we have in the chat who aren't regulars, <laughs> who are regulars of Quit Stalling and not of your stream, tell us who who is Top on King. Who is Eris? Oh, okay. Well. Man, I'm I'm really bad at explaining who I am, but yeah, my name's Aris. I'm from the Philippines. Um, brain brain fart. I <laughs> grew up in the 80s. Take your time. This is your... Yeah, I I grew up in the 80s. I'm I'm an OG gamer. I would say my first console console was the family computer, and then you know I slowly moved up to Sega Mega Drive, Sega Genesis. I got an SNES, and then PlayStation One. Yeah, you know, you know how it is. I, I went through all the things. So wow. I went through I, even Atari. Actually, I my my oh. friend had an Atari. My other friend had an NES, and my you know I have I like it's it was just gaming since I was God knows what age. You know, six when I started falling from my classes. 
you know, started not doing films. <laughs> no, true story. Actually, I am. Um, uh, I was always top ten from grade one to grade five. Then okay. when I got my my first console, I start dropping, and I didn't get the top ten. And I was actually in probation for for that. And then I was just the worst. It was the worst decision of my of my mom to buy me a console. But oh, wow. you know, I love her. I love her to bits. But you know, for introducing me to gaming. But you know, that's that's how it is. But I I actually made it up. You know, you got to balance school and games. But then I went back when when I stepped into grade seven, I think. And then back in high school, I finished high combat. And then oh, that was it. Now That's I awesome. play multiple. Yeah, as a streamer, I play multiple platforms. I I basically can play anything. Like you, you can throw me at because of my background in gaming. Like I don't choose all uh, any of my games. I just don't like horror for some reason. Jump scares, to be exact. I just don't like. Oh them. yeah. It's not that I. Can't oh yeah, you them. and I, I both. Just, <laughs> like, I just don't like jump scares. It's it's just not my thing. It's not that I'm scared. You know, I'm scared of cockroaches, but. Mm -hmm. You know, not ghosts. Like I'd, I'd kick ghosts nuts anytime. Like real <laughs> ghosts, I can go like, "Yo, what's up, man?" But jump scares, <laughs> is just no. I, I just can't play those, man. Jump scares are just that. So you didn't, you, know. you, you didn't play PT, I'm assuming. What's uh, what? um the the one of um Hideo Kojima, the what, what's his face uh the one that Konami was supposed to make. Uh, but they never got pushed through because Konami. Is that the one with, with, the, uh, with the camera? Yeah, with Norman Reed is in that hallway that you just have to keep like going in a loop. I yeah, saw, Death I, Stranding. Uh... No, no, that's that's the Death Stranding is the one in like with is the um, uh, Norman Fetus. Oh right, it. right. Oh man, like, Norman. Who could like forget the scariest the Norman thing Fetus. I've played is is Tomb Raider. That's it. That's the scariest uh, thing I've played. Oh, Tomb Raider, <laughs> Tomb oh, Raider right. one, with the with the with the with the wolves and the, that was scary. So oh yeah, the jump Hands scare. Oh, that yeah. level. No, I've I've played I've played. You know, everyone has to play. What's his What's his face? Out, Outlast. You know, they they they, uh, yeah. they. And they waited for that first jump scare, right? Mm hmm. And yeah, I was surprised. <laughs> but I was like, oh. They weren't yeah. expecting, you know, their reactions. I don't like it. It's just like, no, oh, that's it. That's that's the content of this game. Like, the, you know, the story is not that compelling anyway. So I'm not gonna play this. You know? Oh yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah so. The second one, like of Outlast. Fatal like, Frame. It's... Someone put Fatal Frame there. Oh my god! I saw yeah. that. Someone put. Oh my god! That that's a scary game. <laughs> no. That yes, one is that, scary. No, no, I don't want to play that. That's no, no, not <laughs> Fatal Frame. No, you're bringing back bad memories from my childhood. No, I saw someone playing that in PS, PS One. I was like, so what's the what's, and the sound was, and the the BGM of this game, it's coming back <laughs> to me now. Oh, oh my God, that's. What well, so you have to you actually have to look for them, right? That's that's the that's. That's the, yeah, that's the you game. You have to point your camera directly yeah. at the thing you don't want to look at. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> to, to beat them. It's like, that's... that's what, what is that? <laughs> like, what every is that other game, Every other game proceeding, it's like, okay, I have to run away from this thing. I have to... Right, uh, I don't, exactly. Yeah. And this one, you have to actually... Oh, I'm looking for him because, you know, he's scary. And I have to catch, capture him in this film or I don't know. It's like, <laughs> F that. I'm not playing that. I, I, I just went out. No, it's genius. Okay. It's genius. Like yeah, it's yeah. it was smart. And like the fact that like yeah. it was like PS one day, so like the polygons were weren't as nice as now. So like it makes it a lot scarier since they look a lot you know, they look really weird. Is that yeah, yeah, yeah. uncanny valley area? <laughs> and at around oh, wow. that time, that, that that time frame that it existed, it mm -hmm. was it was it was a class of its own at that time. You know? Yeah. yeah. Because no, don't don't get me wrong, I, I played a lot of old uh survival horror games like not I, I want to say not not Biohazard Resident Evil. It's uh, Alone in the Dark on the oh, on the three duo on gosh. the three duo. Yeah, like that's how OG. OG. Yeah, the I played OG's it in, in, horror game. in yeah in Vera Mall when they had three duos before, where you can rent three duos. So that's that's where I played that Alone in the Dark. Dang, man. That was, that was, oh my god. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah. Let's go to the arcade. Uh, like, Let's do it. Let's go to the like arcade. MS DOS. Like, if I'm not mistaken, like that you could play that in MS DOS, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh yeah, my yeah. god, yeah, MS PC. DOS. PC rip. <laughs> dude, dude, like I said, I, I played Scorched Earth. I played Doom the original. I played uh, Wolfenstein 3D, Quake. So that's how I moved up, like from you've PC seen gaming. Wow. Gaming yeah. evolved all these years. Exactly. Exactly. I played Leisure Suit Larry, uh, strip poker on MS DOS. You know, <laughs> not even, not even 3.5. I used the uh, the big five inch one floppies, because I know someone who had a, a like an old Mac, like an old Mac, like an old Macintosh, and mm -hmm. that's where we played strip poker, strip yeah. poker. So that was our go to game. You know, after yeah. playing Doom, let's go. No, I don't like this. Let's play strip poker. So yeah, yeah. that that was like the porn back then anyway oh yeah five inch Sorry, floppies Lewis. playing strip poker is definitely a porn uh title <laughs> <laughs> i'm with you i'm sorry I'm let's you. move on moving on <laughs> all right <laughs> where where were we uh the bucking <laughs> someone clip that uh so yeah i you know it's cool that you've you, you've gone through all these years of gaming, and you you've managed to keep yourself in the loop, and you've managed to keep playing, which which oh, you yeah, know, yeah. A, a lot of people would find a struggle, especially the busier you get, the older you get, the more responsibilities you you acquire, you know, it, it becomes harder to play. So, you know, how have you met? Have you been able to manage your time like this? Oh, uh, moving like you know, you have to balance your studies and then gaming. At the same time, I remember when I was in high school, I had not a PS1. I only had an SNES, SNES back then, but I already have a PC. So I started playing PC games like Red Alert, um, Warcraft 1 and 2, that kind of deal. Um, some I like, I like this PC game, which I actually bought from... I remember I bought it from brochure in Galleria, Robertson's Galleria. It's My the God. first physical game I bought. It's the first physical game I bought and it's Theme Park. It's called, yeah, Theme Park. Dude, I Theme bought, Park! I have the box, yeah, I have the box game of Theme Park, but I don't know where the box is. I don't know where the CDS is probably. It's gone now. It, it feels who, bad. But I'm trying I to remember who Theme made Park those for games. hours and hours. Yeah, Damn, it was from yeah. Frog, Frog something. Game Frog, yeah, yeah. I think. Like you, yeah, I something. remember that game so much because like you could jack up the salt with, with your concession stand yeah, yeah, and then jack I up the put, price uh, jack up for the, the, for the drinks. sugar yeah sugar oh, yeah man. put it right next to the exit and they'll be thirsty as crap and they'll oh. puke all over you know you, you got to put janitors there and yeah, yeah. I I, I used to play that for hours and hours and hours you know and then man. and then the internet came in I uh, I was actually an early user of the internet. Right, way back in 1997, I'm pretty old, man. I'm super <laughs> old. Like 1997, I remember that time where uh, where my, one of my friends in high school came up to me like, "Yo, do you know what the internet is?" And I was like, "Yeah." Um, back in around 97, there was a it, one of the first cafes in the Philippines, which was called Book Barn, Book Barn, in Robinson's mm. Gallery. Book. That sounds something. familiar. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Yeah, it's. It's it's one of the first cafes in 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 uh, in the Philippines th uh, that I know of in Manila at least. So we kind of discovered uh, MIRC. Me and my best friend it was like, "Yo, you can chat to people IRC. everywhere." <laughs> for, for the yeah, for it the was youngins. Sick. It was weird. It was yeah, because yeah, but... we don't know what the internet is. And and get this right, we were using MIRC for about six months. We don't know that there's more to it than than just MIRC. We yeah. thought the internet was MIRC. We didn't know yeah. there was Yahoo or Spider uh, web crawler, yeah. which was one of the you know search engines back then. Ask Jeeves, oh, right? Dog and then bio. you can actually search for uh, Martina Hingis upskirts. You know? so, <laughs> oh man, oh my God. you really are a product of the '80s, <laughs> Martina. Yeah, yeah, so, oh my, God. Martina Hingis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's common. Calm yeah. back then. <laughs> so we saved, we saved that we saved that on on 3.15 floppy disk and then we bring it home, right? So anyway, um, so anyway, we were doing that for six months straight. We were chatting in there, and then I was like, 
back in high school, my friend came in, yo, um, I have, I have an external, because you don't have internal modems back then. You have to use mm -hmm. an external modem. Yeah. So one guy offered me, get this, 200 pesos, a 36, 36.6 uh, 36 kbps uh, dial-up modem. He offered me a US Robotics 36.6 um, external, external modem, right? And then wow. he gave me, he gave me one of the first dial-up accounts of Sky. Sky not, not even Sky Internet, it was like Sky Cable back then. Mm. You know how uh, you know dial up was hacked back then and multiple people can use it. Oh, yeah, and he, he showed me how to do it. Yeah. Yeah, he showed me how to do it. Dial up, dial up <laughs> network, telnet, that kind of kind of stuff. And then you yeah. know I went in MIRC at home. Because you know, way back in the nineties, people have two phone lines and then I have to disconnect one phone line so that no one <laughs> lifts up that phone and get me disconnected. Yeah, it was, it was you know. <laughs> So, ISP Bonanza Master ISP was just not OG, wow. man. Prepaid internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prepaid Pre internet. internet. Oh my so, god. So, my god. That's how I found out about internet. And then you started downloading MP3s through Audio Galaxy. And then it, it, <laughs> it, it, it moved up to LimeWire. And now it's like what torrent as we know it. And, you know, everything. I, I've seen the evolution of internet here in the Philippines from, from, from its roots. So. That's how I moved up. So within that information, you know, within that all those while moving up, you know, I, I got a lot of games, crack games, you know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure everyone knows what crack games is, right? Those but are the right very now, addictive I games. I, I you know, the games like yeah, that are I, like crack. I, yeah, yeah, they're, like they're, they're broken, broken games, broken games, broken games, right? <laughs> but right now, right now we support Steam and you know we support developers, right? So yeah, Battle we do now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Origin, no, not Origin. That, but... De demo <laughs> games, right? Demo <laughs> games, you know, like the demo games, the demo games, demo right? Games. So anyway, so <laughs> that's how I survived back then with, with the oh, games. Oh man, so I love how yeah, we spiraled so. into like an '80s to '90s flashback. Uh, that's, yeah. that's awesome. Like, oh, so for those of you who are, who are, who are fairly young, uh, MIRC or IRC specifically means Internet Relay Chat, and that was you know before you had your Facebooks and your Discords. We had to we had to connect the servers to talk to people. We had to go to chat rooms with strangers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. ASL was a thing back then. ASL was a thing back. Then. Like, oh, and if man. I'm not mistaken, like in those old chat rooms, you couldn't scroll back up to old messages, right? Like, you, had, you could only see what was there, and then. If it gets, if it gets like a uh, erased, Close. yeah, yeah, no, yeah, you it. can't see it anymore. Yeah, yeah, that's it. But the er, um, um, newer versions of uh, MRC has chat logs, so yeah, you can yeah. go mm. back and yeah, yeah. So, but anyway, that's another that's thing. Bad. Oh, I met a lot of people in MRC, like real life friends right now that oh, nice. we've met in MRC before. Like I have kids now because I'm old, right? So they have kids now and they're married, and you know we we talk about it. Like yo, you were stupid. You know, we had crushes on each other. It was like it's icky, oh, yeah, right? Yeah, so right, right now, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <it was> like <laughs> everyone had their crush, except for me. All I cared about was all I cared about was games. Cause in mm. my group, there's always one guy who's a gamer, and that's me. It was me. All my <laughs> other friends were like casual gamers, like plebs. You know, they were like. <laughs> I play PUBG. Oh, yeah, okay, man. All right, that's good. That's good. Good for you, man. So, so I, I was, I was, I was the gamer, right? Because <laughs> now they know. Because you know, I do. Uh, now they know how hardcore I am. Because you know, I do Twitch, and I do this for almost a living now. So you know, I, I, I am the gamer. So, and I, and that's that's no 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 shadow of a doubt. Now I am the gamer. So. Everyone knows I am the gamer, so no, no one wants to. No, that's my that's my class, so to speak. That's my class. They're the working class. I'm the gaming class. That's it. That's me. And that's, oh man, that's that's the path. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was like a good ten yeah. minutes of me remembering what old Glorietta looked like. Uh, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unless nostalgia is always a good thing, you know. It's, yeah. it's always nice yeah. to look back at your roots. Yeah, and you know, speaking of That's nostalgia and, and looking back at your, at your roots, T uh, TK, you mentioned earlier on that you know you've seen the evolution of gaming. You know, you you've you've gone through gaming oh. since the '80s. 
you know, what were the biggest surprises through the years for you? What were some of the biggest surprises for you through the years? Like, uh, it what caught you off guard? What, what, was, what was something memorable? Like, you know, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> do you really want to know? Really want to know? Let's do it. Uh, let, I'll be yes. honest. Let's do it. I'll, I'll, I'll do be it. honest. Okay. There's one thing. There is one thing that actually blew my mind, and it's hentai games. <laughs> Is like from new grounds i am i am not kidding the first thing the first hentai game i've seen first thing first thing i've seen is it's from the, the from the guys who made gf right now the guys who made gf the gf uh evolution it was like girlfriend simulator it's the mm -hmm. same guys it's the same guys who made that that game that i saw it was like oh my, oh god. my god there's an actual you know, and you, and you, and you do that, and <laughs> but and, even and he before, did listen, what? Listen, <laughs> listen, listen, and even before those games come came out, there were actually um, like, and I, I don't know if we can talk about this, like you know, but there were games <laughs> that's really lewd. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yes. Like, you can Google this right now, and they exist, cause you know it's ingrained in my brain. It's in my brain right now. I can't get it. Off. And and this one game I played, it's called Space Sirens. Space Sirens. So, Space Sirens. Diego, don't do I'm, it! I'm, don't I'm, look at the light, Diego! Don't, don't look it. at the light! <laughs> no, I don't think it's gonna come out. It's like a B movie. It's like a B game oh, movie wow. slash. Oh my thing, god, so. Babe, Babe's from Agia, is that right? Uh, Space Sirens yeah, 2. Yeah, 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 that's, that's one. Oh that's my one. god. That's one. Yeah, so <laughs> Space Sirens 2. So, what okay. is this? So, don't, <laughs> don't Google it! Don't, no, Jago, no, save your soul. Don't do it. It's like, one, okay, it's, it's like, yeah, it's one of those B-movie posters. <laughs> yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah. So, anyway, uh, I know a guy who actually played Space Siren, so it's like, what? There's an actual game that you do this and that, what? That blew my mind. I was like, it's possible now. And everything's possible now. It's like, okay, so everything's possible now. We're out, you know, we're... We're actually out of Mario now, and we're gonna play these types of games now. So that's that. That was the turning point. But no, no, seriously, the turning point was actually no. To be honest, the turning point was StarCraft for me. StarCraft. Ooh. Oh, oh, nice. Shout, out to, shout out to the boys over at Blizzard Entertainment, our overlords at Blizzard Entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, funny story though. So, um, no, not really funny, but interesting story. Back when StarCraft came out. I was playing Counter Strike 1.3, 1.1. I don't know the first version of Counter Strike. So Star Starcraft was becoming a thing, and then you know I played Warcraft and Warcraft, Warcraft one and two, you know. But then when they released Starcraft, I was like, oh my god, it's 3D. But although it's not 3D, right? We yeah, all know it's, it's not 3D. It's really kind of good, full 3D. It kind of looks so awesome, and you know, yeah. Protoss, and you go, oh my god, it's summoning shit, you know, like oh my <laughs> god, aliens, like. <laughs> Circling, there's a lot of them, right? So that was like, oh, RTS was a thing back then, or Red Alert, StarCraft, right? So that was that was a turning point, and then and then Counter Strike was, and then MMORPG came in around 90s, 2001, 2000, um, When 90s, was Ultima? I don't know. When was Ultima Online? Ultima oh. Online. Oh my God, Ultima Online. Let me Online. check. Uh, I never Ultima played Ultima Online. Online though, but so yeah, I know that's a grand fun. Yeah, 1997 something. 97. So Ragnarok came out, and that was it. You know, it it just, it just everyone was on it. Everyone yep. was on it. Yeah. Everyone. That was everyone on right internet. Like, yeah, it was 2002. Yeah. I think. Yeah, it was. Get... It was the. It was the thing. Yeah. So you oh, go yeah, into a was... server oh. where where you know people would be like in the market areas. You have r real yeah, people yeah, yeah. spamming you. Exactly. Like bots. But the servers were pretty good. Well, the yeah. servers were pretty good. There was no lag back then. It was weird because everyone was in dial up, right? And I think that yeah. was the reason why there was no lag because it was dial up. Um, but then I chose merchant. I don't know why, and my my stats were all loopy the, to the point where I can't level up anymore because I have dex and strength and everything. Oh, man. Okay. Little bit of everything, you know. Let's do yeah. a little bit of everything, even luck, you know, because luck is as luck. I want to be lucky. So. <laughs> <laughs> and the oh, my God. and but I made it to blacksmith. Well, well, anyway, that's, that's another story. So it was MMO. <laughs> 
MMO straight because you know I jumped into MMOs then so yeah I'm not gonna go should I go through it right now like I MMO like Ragnarok then this I played your show, Tantra man. then your I show. Tantra and then I played Cabal online I played RF online and I played I played a lot of games like MMO games <laughs> like it's, it's stupid like a bunch of them I wasted so many time so many hours just playing MMOs it was it was crazy I don't play MMOs anymore because it just it's just a lot of time yeah, I even played character. World of Warcraft yeah yeah <laughs> so <laughs> so I'm, I'm I'm waiting for a really good MMO to take me in. You know, I've tried uh, FF4, uh, FF14. I've tried, but no, I've it's just I haven't found it yet. You know, it takes, too much, time, it, so. it takes too much time. So takes too much time. It does. It does. I, it's gonna, I, I don't it's think gonna I, be. It's gonna be hard for them for like for developers to create something as big as WoW. Like again, mm. they can't. You know, catch lightning in, in a bottle, bottle dude. Even even exactly. Blizzard yeah. were like. We're trying to do it again, and they just ended up with like, yo, let's scrap it and pick up the pieces and make, make Overwatch. Overwatch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, geez, they even they couldn't they do it really again. Tried? Did yeah, they, they even tried. really try? They, yeah. they spent bill, uh, well, millions on it. The the guy who was one of the leads had to leave the company because you know, like, they, they, he failed, and someone had to be the scapegoat. I guess. Hi, Rob Pardo. Hope you're doing good. Mm -hmm. uh, they started their own that's studio. They're all right. They're fine. They're making tons of money. They, they have investors. It's fine. Let's, uh, use, let's use the bits we collected from the last Overwatch League to make a new game. Yeah, let's use that. Yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah, no, none of that will go to MLG. Uh, let's just make a new game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's just make a new We're Blizzard. Come on. Come on. Come on. We're yeah, Blizzard. Like, Come on. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. So, yeah, yeah it, it's crazy. And, you know, it's, you know, TK, hearing your stories is so awesome. I I want to know more about you. And I want to ask you, actually, you know, we, we, we went through the evolution of gaming and we barely scratched the surface of who TK is. Uh, yeah. But I want to talk now about your streaming. Uh, th this is right. something we talked about when we first met. And I do right. want to tackle this on our first show together because, def you know, with with our runtime now, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have you on again to talk more about yourself. Crap. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> but uh, I, I you know, I, I I do. It's it's awesome though. Well, I do want to ask uh about your history because we we did talk about this and uh you know right. I, I want to ask how how did you get into streaming? Well, you want to ask why I stream, right? That's that's the question you want to ask. Yeah, let's start with that, yeah. Alright, so there's three reasons why I stream. Right? So three reasons. It's it's for the big bucks, Bob's and Vagine, and world domination. <laughs> Wait. I'm sorry. Again? <laughs> that, that just flew over Diego's head. All of that really flew over my all, head. All of all of the sarcasm just flew over his head. <laughs> <laughs> so I got the first hey, big box. Is this guy for real? <laughs> no, um, <laughs> simple enough. Big bow in the chat, like simple, simple enough. Simple enough. Yeah, <laughs> makes yeah, sense. Yeah. But no, really. Um, mm -hmm. I I I quit my job November. I've been I've been I've been working. I, I've been trying to climb the ladder for, I would say, 19 years now. I think. Yeah, I think I counted. Actually, 60, 17 years. I've wow, worked corporate dude. for 17 years. So... It's a long time. I, 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 yeah, for... So, I was able to actually uh, build a small business, an online business with my with my fiancé for... It, it took me five years to actually build that. Enough to actually do a sustainable income coming in without having to work. So, I, I really worked really hard for it. So, um, and then I was able to actually, uh, I will, I wouldn't say retire because I might go back, you know, but just, mm -hmm. just, just quit, quit getting out of corporate. I, I used to be a marketing manager for BPO before. So I do, I did oh. a lot of online marketing. Yeah. It's, it's so, oh, my uncle's here, Mr. Backstabber. Hey. So yeah, oh. yeah. So no, yeah, so I like welcome. Speak uncle, but welcome uncle. I, 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 call, I call him uncle. So anyway. Um, so I was able to actually get out of, get out of that and focus on my online business, which is, you know, I'm, 
I don't have to plug it because it, it's just uh, it's called Mugi Chan Store. But anyway, that's that's another thing. Don't don't worry about it. So um, my 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 fiance takes care of that right now. Then you know the first few months because after I actually uh, resigned, got out of and uh, got out of that, we actually went to Japan, which was my dream vacation all my life. I wanted to actually go there, so we had that trip. And then you just, I just wanted to do everything that I want to do. You know, that's that's the whole point of doing it. You know, like working. That's the whole point yeah. of working. It's it's living, right? So I wanted to live, right? So, and it's working out. It's it's working out. You know, it's already what, August, June, August, September, October, November. I'm gonna be one year, no, not not employed, but running a business. You know, just living off of that, right? So, but then. Wow. It, Around February, I was like, you know, I was. This is what we do in a daily basis. Wake up, right? Check, check, check chat on the online thing. You know, pr prepare shipping. You know, talk to suppliers, that kind of deal. And we're done mm. after lunch. And oh, then wow. my my wife starts, yeah, starts reading anime, uh, manga, and anime. And I'm and I do, I and I go go to the PC and play at that time PUBG, right? No, I don't play yeah. PUBG anymore, so I, I, I hate that. <laughs> So anyway, so <laughs> filthy and, casuals. And then I, and, but but uh, but then I I, I I before I go to sleep I watch Twitch, like a lot of Twitch. You know I watch people, um, especially people uh, because my, the first few the first few big streamers that I watch is Admiral Baru. If you know him, is a DBD a Dead by Daylight streamer. Um, mm -hmm. And then there's more few K. And then you know I I don't watch the big streamers. I watch like the mid range streamers. Because mm -hmm. you know, I, I tend to enjoy enjoy them a lot. So, and then I and then I watch this one girl, right? And and Tets knows this. One of my Tets knows this, and this is a story too. This one girl, she's a she's a small streamer. She had like 10, 15 viewers. Her name is Mochitsu. She's a girl from California. I never okay. knew she was any anyway. So, and she she streams Dead by Daylight. And then that's how that's that's where I saw another side of Twitch where friends hang out like literally it's just friends hanging out with each other and watching the stream yeah like every single time i go there i'm I, it's the same people i was like yo and then they welcome me like hey tk tk there everyone's calling me tk because you know tk, tk. Oh, they don't know what I'm saying. TK. and then you know i felt really nice it felt really it felt great to have you know that and i was like yo i want that too you know i'm i mean I don't want to hang out with my PUBG friends because you know they're all toxic. But you know, but there is this one guy who, who hangs out on stream. I used to play PUBG with, which Jobo, Jobo's probably working right now. So anyway, um, so I started streaming. I went like to my fiance, yo, I'm gonna start streaming, and maybe, maybe, maybe I can share whatever it is that I can share. You know, I, um. Even before marketing, I was a team leader, you know, and I developed people. Uh, I was kind of like a trainer too. I kind of like a little bit of everything. So I deal with people a lot of things, a lot of times, you know, I, I talk to a lot of people. So it was just the most logical thing to do at that time. Mm -hmm. You know, it's instead of just me wasting my time sitting down and then just playing a game and then going back to sleep. Let's just share it to everyone. You know, there maybe maybe there's someone out there who's who's gonna laugh at my jokes. Maybe there's someone out there who's gonna listen to my stories. Maybe there's someone out there who's gonna like the way I play. Maybe there's someone out there who will like you know, just create memes with me. You know, just create memes. That's it. And then I started streaming. That's it. And yeah. Do do I do the whole story? Or? <laughs> Keep going, man. It's good. It's gold. Yeah. This is gold. There's, this there's is gold. a 40 yours, minute man. video. There's a 40 minute video of YouTube in there, but oh, um, really? that that I have on my YouTube channel that explains oh, wow. how the whole thing is because people have been asking me. I can. Oh, subscribe okay. To my YouTube. Oh, then then we'll link like that in the chat because my YouTube. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, Give it's, me some views, YouTube. guys. YouTube.com slash stopunking. YouTube.com slash stopunking. Stopunking. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Every just... well, but, I'm sorry. Oh, go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. No, no, you first. No, go ahead. No, okay. no you first. Uh, I was saying, no, no, you first. If you go, if you Google Tapang King, if you Google Tapang King, everything that comes out of Google is me, because <laughs> I've had this name, I've had this name since 2001. Oh. oh. This man knows his branding. Just, 
yeah. So this name has been me since 2001, and also there's a there's a 12 minute video on my buds explains why my name is Tapanki. Explains why it's not what you think it is. It's 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 bigger than what you guys think it is. That's why I have no tapa in the first place, because you guys want to want to hear your story. It's it's kind of. Yes, but we have would. you here, man. All right, but we, we have would. you here. All right, Definitely. all right. Here we go. So I'll, I'll tell the story. The 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 the, 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 the shortest way I, I I can tell the story right now of my name. Why my name is Tapanki, and it's not what you think it is. So it, it was back in 2001, um, way back where you have to actually go out with your friends in cars and then go go to you know places like Libis and Katipunan to have drinks, right? And, and oh, guys, man. I don't know if you. Kende, yeah, Kende, yeah, bro. I, I don't. Okay, okay. So yeah, but Tende wasn't. It didn't exist back then. Oh damn, so, we're going anyway. way back, guys. Yeah, we're going so, way back. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, so anyway, um, we were going to uh, Katipunan. We had a couple of drinks before going. Uh, there were like two cars going to Katipunan, and then we actually went to. We crashed a concert in Miriam College. It was a concert <laughs> for. No, we we literally crashed it. Um, it was for. Kitchen Nadal's band. What was Kitchen Nadal's band? Uh, Kitchen Nadal. Wait, uh, um, Mojo Fly. Mojo Fly. Uh, it was the Mojo Fly concert in Miriam College. We just stepped. We we just went in there, like uh, ten people, ten guys. We just went inside. You know, we we bypassed the ticket booth, and we were like, yeah, I'm, we're going in. You know, <laughs> and we we pulled it off. And then after like two songs, we got tired of it. Like okay, let's get out and let's, we want to eat, cause yo. And then we went to Katipunan Tapang Tapaking. Everyone who doesn't know what Tapaking is, Tapaking is uh, a local restaurant that sells tapa, egg, and fried rice. So good, so good. And go everyone, everyone confuses my name with Tapaking, and and for obvious reasons, right? The the yeah. G just separates that, um, and G separates that. So, um. That group was composed of my real group and then another new group that I just met that day, right? Okay. So, and there was this one guy, his name is Ken. And we were having so much fun. We were laughing. You know how any joke can actually just be really funny at that time? Because you you guys yes. were enjoying yourselves, right? So we mm -hmm. were there in Tapa King. I was throwing jokes about, you know, hot dog and that stupid stuff. Like, ha, ah, hot dog, uh, jolly hot dog, or something like that. <laughs> it was something like that. It was just stupid, just stupid fun. We were, crack you know, we were we're having like stitches, like side stitches. We had, everything hurts now when, when you laugh, right? At that point, but and then there was this picture of a of a of a raging bull in that tapaking in 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 Katipunan, right? And I pointed to it and I said, hey, yo, yo, Ken, yo, that's 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 tapanki. It was laughing. It was like tapanki ah. ah, 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 ah. So I was, I was like, and he said, "Yo, you are Tapangki." So yeah, I was like, "Yeah, I'm Tapangki." Ha <laughs> ha We were laughing, and the night ended, right? The night ended. It was a great night. Everyone went home. Everyone was laughing. Then one week later, I'm sorry. I, I'm really sorry. Keep it going, bro. Keep it going. But my friend called me. It was one of those afternoons where the 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 light, when 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 the sun is setting down. And the, the the light from the from the sun was really nice, and I was on my stairs. It was like, yo, are you standing up? Can you sit down? And I was like, wow, what the fuck, man? Then I sat down. It's like, yo, you remember Ken? We were hanging out with him last Saturday. It's like, yeah. So he said he's dead, man. He died from a car accident. Oh, so shit. yeah, the guy died from a car accident in Libis. Uh, hit the fucking wall. He was trying to do like he was he was going really fast. Another girl, uh, uh, his girlfriend lived, and the, the the friend girl lived. He died, so I didn't know this guy, right? Though I, I I just met this guy that night, right? So, but it was the one of the greatest nights I've had. So, and then back then my name was Tsunami T S U. It's 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 because you know I'm a weeb. So th this was my name back then, even before. So you mm -hmm. know on Counter Strike and shit, right? So on the wake, on the wake, I kind of, in memory of Ken, said, yo, in memory of Ken, I'm going to change my name to Tapangki. And everyone was like, yeah, sure, man. That, that's, that's a good memory. So in, that's, that's the name. 
That's Whoa. basically what it is. It's a, it's a sad story. I'm sorry. But <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. Un- no, it's, it, everyone needs to understand. Everyone has a nickname for a reason. And you got to respect all everyone's n- nickname. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. It's I Dumb Drum, Bimbi Gaming. Everyone has a reason to have their nickname. Harold. Right? But it's... It's <laughs> it's not Harold, always please. what it what it seems to be. So if if someone says, you know, I come at swallow, yeah, you know those nicknames. That's fine. If <laughs> if that's what you want, that's fine. <laughs> I respect that. You know, I like if you like that nickname, night. but but that's basically what it is. That's the story behind it. Like Tetsio has Tets, you know, his nickname his nickname's Tets. And if he likes Tets show, that's fine. You know, we can call him Tets right now. Tets. Hmm. Tets. Yeah. Call me yeah. Tets. Yeah, so how many people know there's actually that much weight behind your name? Do, you, do your Twitch viewers know? Not not all of them. Mo- oh, wow. more, of, more of my... Uh, so whenever you spam that no tapa, just remember, just, just remember that story. And then that's, that's my own way yeah. of making people realize that. No, it's not top punking. It's it's top punking. Definitely. And... Yeah, yeah, that's... yeah. <laughs> Yo, that's a that's great origin story. story for let's, the name. let's break that. Let's break that. That's it. That's it. Don't worry about it. It was a great night. It was it was a great you know it was a great name, and I'm gonna keep it forever because you know I, it was a promise. It was it was a- almost anime like, right? It's almost anime like, and it was like yo, know, I changed my name to top. Anyway, that's it. That's it. That's I'm done. cool, I'm done. dude. Man, yeah, okay, right. so I had like 20 other questions I wanted to ask you, but you, you answered like half of them midway through some of your stories, which are really awesome. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Dude, we, we're running, we're close to an hour here, so I, and oh I do want to get to... Oh my god, really? Yeah. Oh my god. Of recording, yeah. we've actually gone past an hour already of streaming. <laughs> so... Top of case, it's still best me. I want to be the best me in the Philippines. I know that Cat Meow, Cat Just Meow is the best me right now. Yeah, but mm-hmm. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna un- announce it right now in Game Byte. Oh, that me, get just me out. I'm gonna be the best May, male May. <laughs> 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 you, you can be the best female May. That's fine. You, that's you. But I can I can catch up to hours of gameplay. I'm not fucking Shroud. What what are you talking about? No, I'm not gonna. I am not going to announce that I'm going to be the best May against someone who played like a thousand hours more than me. No, she can be the best female male. I don't care. You know, I'm going to be the best male May. Not really. That's, that's, that's... I dumb drum in the chat is so clever. He just said male. 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 Oh, that's hilarious. Oh man, TK, it was great hearing your stories. I, I'm I'm really genuinely excited to get you back on to hear more of them. Uh, I want I want to mm-hmm. give you a bit of applause yeah. from the fans. Hey, dude, you deserve I'm, that. I'm, I'm really glad. Uh, that. And the thing is, you know, I I do want to get to a little bit of news before we end the show. So if you don't mind, TK, you know, we we, we want to bring right. a little bit of news here because that's what we try to do here on Game Fight. We, sure. We, we try. <laughs> Uh, so let's, let's get to a little bit of news, guys. Here we go. This week in video games. Yes! This week in video games. And this week in video games is brought to you guys by Co-Apps. Yes! Co-Apps. Play Co-Apps is a wonderful game on mobile. Word Beach. Connect and spell words. Challenge your vocabulary. Keep it fresh. Keep it funky. Keep it juicy. Co-Apps is game. Word Beach. Out now on iOS and Android. Check it out, guys. Do it. Word Word Beach. Beach. Now. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we got some news, Diego. I saw you mention this earlier on in the chat. Uh, Mm -hmm. If you guys are watching the video feed, yeah, this is this might be someone. When you see him, you'll be like, "Oh, that guy looks familiar." Yeah. His name rings a bell. Doesn't know this guy, man. His name rings a (laughs) bell. bell Mod. It's Belmont. It's Simon Belmont. It's, Sa- it's Sam one we know. Yeah. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. Major Pilot. Major Pilot. Like I better. <laughs> but yeah, Simon it's Belmont. Ring of Bel- <laughs> Is it Ring of Belmont? <laughs> oh. <my. laughs> so yeah, I mean, I think the Nintendo Direct was actually showing at the same time as we were, we started the podcast. So 
Yeah. Um, they just dropped the bomb that Simon Belmont's gonna be joining the Super Smash Brothers roster. Oh my Dude! god! No. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh wait. my god! I was like, next wait. thing you know, we're gonna see I don't know Star Wars characters here. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say Simon King. King. <laughs> oh, I would oh be actually, there's for some more. There, there's also more people, like not just Simon Belmont. Um, tell us, DZ. Tell us. I think. I think Alucard's gonna be here also. Ah! Oh man, that's badass, and, dude. You know, okay. You guys know the Donkey right. Kong cartoon? Yeah. yeah. With Cranky um, and, okay. uh, and Diddy. Yeah, and... Was, wasn't it the King King Croc? Is that, is that his name? Uh, King Cruel? Cruel? Wait, King on. Cruel. There we go. Sorry, I, I yeah. didn't really watch it so much, but yeah, the, the the Crocodile King. I think he's all gonna be part of the roster as well. Okay. Uh, who else? Um, hmm. That's oh, King pretty K much rule. so far. Yeah, King, King K. K Rule. There we there go. go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Dark King Samus. King K Rule. King K Rule. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. It's, it's you okay. know what I'm thinking of, right? King. I'm just saying. Anyway. <laughs> Kinky Rules. Uh, uh, yeah, Kinky so... Rule. No, it's like. Oh, trip, this is me. Triple. Trip. And anyway, let's go. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> I'm just right. saying. Who thought oh, of these man. names? They're just Nintendo. <laughs> For real though. And they're, they're, what? That's that's so that's so ninja. <laughs> that's so ninja. <laughs> oh man. I'm just, uh, okay. Anyway. King K. Rule. Um, I just gotta make okay. one correction. Um, sorry. Alucard is just gonna be sorry. It's just an assist trophy, but not a playable character. Oh. But still, okay. Mean, Alucard. Why not? Right? Easy. But yeah. Sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, who else? <laughs> um. Yeah, that's it so far in terms of rosters. Awesome. And uh, yeah, Elder Jin in the chat brings up a really good point. It's not as random yeah. as, a, as Tekken's announcement of getting wa the Walking Dead oh, Negan Jesus out of their roster. We talked about this on the Geek Cast, and it's just out of nowhere, man. I mean, if they anything, a, he should he have been in Soul Calibur. Yeah, right? Yeah. Everyone said that, too, cause, because he has the bat and everything. But, yeah. Yeah, but Soul Calibur is just a, not a really big franchise to hype someone like this right yeah it's it's yeah. just really good to put him here instead of soul caliber that's yeah that's yeah. just for me that's the reality I mean, of it yeah i play it's tekken but not yeah it looks like i might play tekken again because of this so i think that was the goal <laughs> right there that was the goal yeah yeah you got you get, speaking of like i mean just quick side note speaking of tekken did you get to catch evo uh last uh the other week uh, over the weekend I've no, seen news not, no, like Negan uh, being released. Oh yeah. Did you tell us about? Tell so, us about. Like, oh no, like Carol, can you? Uh, I want to show you that bit. Okay, because in Evo, all right. Okay, this is the best part. Oh about right, Evo, right, 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 right. Yeah, just load up the video. Okay, so they finally had uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z on Evo. Okay, so in the grand finals, um, you know how in every fighting game, when you when you pick your when you pick your characters, when the before three, two, one, fight. Each character has an intro, right? They have like a, right. they, they face off with each other. So, you have Cell uh, versus um, Bardock, okay? Bar. So you watch it there. You see they're powering up, right? Yeah. If you play the finals, and you see there Cell's powering up. If you, if you play the finals, if you watch it, everyone in the arena is shouting as in charging up. So like, <laughs> the whole crowd gets it. You know, everyone loves Dragon Ball. So like, when they see Cell about to charge, they're like. Ah, and you can hear the screams from like the 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 caster's microphone. It's that ah, loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Harold, do you think we can play the audio, or is that a bit? Or the rounding might, might wire? like, yeah. You you guys might not hear, it, but the folks at home will definitely hear it. If I'm not mistaken, let's let's try it. Well, we, give it a shot. we can we can imagine what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. Let's but give it a yeah. Shot. Yeah, I was nope. gonna shout, but yeah. Check this out, happening. guys. Nothing's happening. Oh. I'll try it again, but yeah, keep going, keep going. Oh, but yeah, anyway, so like, yeah, if you guys have time, check it out. Watch the finals of um, the Dragon Ball Fighter Z. That is Sonic Fox versus. Uh, oh, there, there, there. Okay, there. Just listen to it. Wait, is this the one? Yeah, so the folks at Oki hear that. Dude, they were so loud. <laughs> yeah, it's like. <laughs> and That's like, nuts. Here, like, and if I'm not mistaken, like the, the popularity of Dragon Ball, I swear, um, if you take the view numbers of Street, like Street Fighter, I mean, like, or Street Fighter, like that's Evo's, that that's Evo's number numero uno, right? 
Yeah. Uh, I think on Twitch they had about 150 uh, concurrent viewers. But then, like, when Dragon Ball came up, it shot up like 50,000 more viewers. That's insane. From Dra- yeah. That's. that's, that's... I, I kind of watched a couple of it because, you know, yeah. it's, it, it looks like it's a very nice fighting game. It has really fast pace yeah. and a lot of juggling. <laughs> a lot of juggling. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and if you yeah. love no, the Dragon Ball Z franchise Dragon growing Ball. up, yeah, yeah, I was, yeah, I was gonna say it. I was gonna say that. It's 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 yeah. like perfect fodder for you. This is like the game you've been waiting for forever. You know, mm-hmm. you want it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man. All right, and uh, we got That's one last bit of news. Now. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. And so we got one last bit of news. And while we have TK here, I do want to get through this because it seems very important in 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 this day and age. TK. Uh, IGN, not known for plagiarism, uh, got one of the writers caught for doing just that. It turns out. Oh! Uh, yeah. This was so, what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah. For you, yeah, for those of you who uh, who know Dead Cells, I think we had someone talking right. about Dead Cells earlier on in the chat. Uh, Dead Cells came out recently, very, very recently. I think it was July 24th, or maybe sooner than that, earlier than that, a little earlier than that. Uh, but a review went up. On a channel called Boomstick Gaming, uh, it was a four-minute review of Dead Cells, which is like a, a roguelite. You know, we, we all know the roguelike games. Uh, roguelite is a, yeah. like a subgenre of roguelike games. And uh, mm-hmm. you know, Boomstick Gaming came out with a video review, and you know, a couple of a couple of days or so later, uh, IGN.com or, or one of the writers came out with a very identical identical review. Uh, not just in written form, but also in video form. I have a clip from The Verge here. Uh, or oh my God. a little bit of text. This is in Why comparison. So this is in comparison. So uh, the, the person who wrote the original one said, In Dead Cells, you will need to kill your way through a labyrinth of levels, all punctuated by boss encounters. Uh, the IGN one says, In Dead Cells, you fight your way through an ever-changing labyrinth of levels with branching paths. <laughs> <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's like... It's like how can I copy your home? It's like how we co- would copy homework in high school. We just change exactly. the words. <laughs> yeah, change the words. <laughs> Flip it around. They won't notice. Jeez. Oh my god. So this is, you know, plagiarism is never fun, especially if you're the person who got plagiarized. TK, exactly. you know what I'm talking about, oh right? Like, my god. how would you feel if someone went on stream and said pretty much the exact same thing you did live? <laughs> I mean, yeah. live, live, live is something. I I don't know, but this is written, right? This is exactly. written thing. Uh, this, this is this is and this is IGN, FFS, <laughs> FFS. So, I, I, I'm I'm blown. I'm blown. It's a mind blown right now. But see, I, uh, to be fair with the guy who actually plagiarized, most likely he has a very good reason to do. It. He was I don't know. He was. Almost at the verge of resigning. <laughs> I maybe, maybe, actually, maybe, yeah. Actually, he was maybe. new. Yeah, he, he was like new a, to IGN. A couple of well, months there old, you right? go. That, that's okay. Then I'll change what I'm saying. Like right? that's how you get a job without. <laughs> it. That's so, guys. If you want to get a job, you just need to actually seem like you know what you're doing, and then learn your way while you're doing it. <laughs> but don't get caught like this guy, obviously. Oh, don't get word. caught like yeah. this guy. Because right now, he just effed up too early. And, you know, he yeah. just... It was it was bad. <laughs> it was yeah. bad. So, but, but it, and in you all don't seriousness, wanna, though... Yeah, you don't want to yeah. mess up that way. Especially yeah. for IGN's sake. So. In, mm-hmm. in all seriousness, like, like Nazaru says in the chat, plagiarism is how you kill a career in any journalism industry. And exactly. It's, exactly. it's not good. You know, you... Yeah, we live in a world where nothing is truly original anymore, but do something better than just rewrite certain oh, words yeah. in someone else's oh word. You just have lazy. your own opinions. No, I'm sorry uh, to cut you off there, but I know someone who does uh, who does um, articles for websites. I don't know if you guys are familiar. But usually, they give you like assignments per day, like 15. And this guy was just, I don't know, he was squeak. What's that word? He was weaseling his way out of of the workload, most likely, and got okay. caught. Basically, mm-hmm. that's 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 the most obvious reason why he did it. You know, he yeah. probably made a couple of self-made articles for IGN. Um, being new is not it's not an excuse, but it's yeah. just um, 
Um, how did they handle it? That's my question. How did IGN handle it? That's a very oh, good what question. Happened to so the guy? Yeah. what happened uh, was oh, they they took down the statement. Oh, sorry, they took down the review as much as quickly as possible, and, and as many of the regionalized sites as possible. You know, Africa, uh, IGN Asia, and they put out a statement. You know, saying that they're, they're going to review the allegations. Uh, and oh, actually, there's an update now. Hold on, I, there's an update now. Uh, let me read from the tweet here. Let me read from the tweet. <clears throat> After taking the time to investigate, we've determined that there were substantial similarities between a review posted weeks earlier and our review that could not be justified and warranted taking down. Though we as a community often share feelings and even certain word choices to describe the games we love by using f similar frames of understanding, this particular <laughs> situation stepped over the line and is not a reflection of our editorial standards. We apologize to our readers, developer Motion Twin, and most especially the YouTuber, known under Boomstick Gaming for failing to uphold these standards. There's so much more, uh, which is pretty much just saying we're sorry, we, you know, we review this really seriously, uh, we review all things seriously. Uh, there's a statement as well from Boomstick Gaming. Uh, he told The Verge, I would like to be cited, collaborated with, and compensated for the healthy ad revenue they pulled in oh, on both their written review and video review. I've been doing YouTube since 2006 as a hobby and have found somewhat of a following recently. A few months ago, I started a Patreon that attempts to help me continue what I enjoy doing by accepting donations from fans of my videos, but has seen little to no success. So he's just saying, come on. You guys made a lot of my money from that. Plans. <laughs> oh, <paycheck plans. laughs> oh, this guy. <laughs> oh, I mean, man. yeah, he has to do it. He has to do it, right? So and you got to understand his stance. You got to understand his stance because yeah, they, yeah, yeah. they, they pulled in probably how many hundreds, even maybe thousands, hundreds of thousands of views from pretty much his content. It was, and he uh, feels it was, like he's owed. It's, I'm, not, I'm not mistaken. Like, if you look at Boomstick's review, it got about fifteen thousand views. Like prior to the prior to the when he first released it, okay. Mm -hmm. And right. then looking at IGNs when they released the post, like a week after, they got six times more the amount of views. So, yeah, yeah I mean, there. It's uh, it's a shame that those views couldn't go to Boomstick. And he's just asking but because for, of the yeah, he's just asking yeah. for it now. But, yeah, but because of the controversy, like if you look at, uh, I was also watching, I was like watching a video of Sid Alpha. I think yeah. um, his subscriber count shot up by like 20,000 because of that. Wow! <laughs> yeah. 20,000! Oh my yeah. god. But yeah, he's going to have to take advantage of the situation. I don't think, mm -hmm. I don't see why he's wrong with that. I mean, yeah, it's nothing just, wrong with that. Not, yeah, there's nothing wrong mm -hmm. with that. I mean, he, he really deserves that. But anything else you know yeah. like that's that's their fault you got to give him a fat pay you know what if i was ign i would like you know i'm sorry blah 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 statement attaches a picture of the fingers of the the guy who wrote this oh my god <laughs> you know so yeah and i hope that this compensates you know the the mistakes at least he's really sorry for it but you know oh, he's man. not gonna write anything again ever you heard it here yeah, first, definitely. folks. Stop on King confirms IGN is the mafia. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just actually, kidding. But no. <laughs> actually, like also a bit of information. The guy who did the oh. IGN, uh, his name was oh no. It's happening with Discord. He yeah, actually it's happening with this YouTube okay. channel. Um, the last bit of um content released like nine months ago, which is when he probably started the IGN, which is anything so they did they did guy go or fire him <laughs> they fired him so he probably got to go back <laughs> i don't know he, he, yeah good luck to him i guess yeah I definitely think, yeah. definitely yeah. Mm -hmm. just All don't right. do it so... again you know <laughs> he needs to learn from them, so he needs to learn oh, yeah. yeah discord is lagging like crazy right now i don't know what's happening guys I'm really sorry. Uh, it's it lagging. Yeah, this, this, I hope the stream is still good because the, the bit rate is still fine. I don't know what's happening with the actual Discord. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, no. They're feeling it. Oh. No. Oh, no. All right. All right. So we're going to. It's still lagging. 
feel so good. <laughs> they feel so good. They're <laughs> shutting us down. All right, I think we're good now. I think no, we're still not good. What They're is happening? Us. Oh, there. Okay, oh, we're yeah, good. We're good. There. There really there are. There. We're good. There really are the mafia. TK, what did you bring? <laughs> what did you bring onto this show? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have this, this big control room uh, if, if, if anyone talks crap about IGN they're gonna say okay we have a couple of guys in this twitch twitch channel talking talking smack imagine, yeah. about our <laughs> I can just imagine shut someone like down. someone in a suit behind someone like on the control yeah, panel yeah, being yeah. like shut them down with a cigar it's like shut it down just shut it down <laughs> <laughs> well, we won't shut it down, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. We're going to end the show. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. We have so many new hey. followers. It is ridiculous the following Top hey. Funking brought to the show. Well, thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much, TK, man. It, it's been an honor to have you on the show. Uh, yes. It's been an honor to be here. All right. So oh. before we before we say our goodbyes, I want to say thank you to all our most recent followers. I'm hoping I'm gonna pronounce them right. Shabel Ph, Bum Bum Love, Ah Yes, Midrash Twelve, Dylan Elbow or Dylan Lobo, uh, Mr. Backstabber, mm -hmm. Hey Uncle, uh, Fatsy Forge, uh, Tetsio, Young GP, and iCalves. You guys are all awesome. Uh, huge shout out to all our bit cheers, our leading bit cheer who's in, in the in the chat right now, Elder Jin with a thousand and one hundred. Nerf Diva coming in behind with a thousand and two. Nope underscore plays. We, uh, tied with Mercy now with five hundred. Of course, uh, Tita Gaming, some guy named InstaDZ. Uh Aaron Gaming four four one who's new to the show and new to the chat. Welcome. Uh, of course, Cl Clucky plays, Cloud Coon, I am Kokak, and of course. To all our subs, Miko P, Numero Uno, Human Panda, rearing up the second, uh, into DZ, Fury Bot. Uh, Salon Chen, Elder Jin, Archer Perez, oh, Pot CP, hey, Pot CP, uh, Spinbit, and Kevin the Ninja. You guys are all awesome. Everyone in the chat, you guys are amazing. But let's do this. Let me, let me play us out. Let me play us out. Where is this? Where is this? Here we go. All right. Oh, Nezuru DG just subbed to us on Twitch. Nezuru, enjoy your DZ emojis. Spam it up. Spam, let's spam these up. Let's spam these up. I have to submit our tier one. Sub oh, dude, we got our third tier one emote already. Thanks to Nezuru. Woo! Oh, what? Nezuru. I also want to say thanks to Tapu King for that gift, the gift tier. Oh, my God. Oh, oh another oh, gift tier. Oh, TK. Tier? Oh, TK. Yeah. TK. Man, oh TK God, subbing get... people, gifting subs to Nezuru and Tetsuo. TK, T oh, give it up for this man. Hold on, let me, let me throw it up. Let me throw it up. Where is it? Where is that? Where is I kind of owe you guys too. Like... <laughs> no, <laughs> you owe us nothing. No, you no, owe us nothing. Me here, so, and I said I was going to, you know, do it. And oh, I'll paying it forward. Yeah, yeah. Paying it forward. Oh, this thanks, man. buddy. Guys, guys, come on. Give it, get up for TK. Spam, spam those DZ emotes. In the chat for TK, you guys are awesome. TK, now you, got you your are second awesome. One. You got your second one now. Oh, what are you guys going to get? You were the man. Huh. TK, tell the folks at home where they can find you when you're not on shows like Game Bite. All right, uh, guys, you can find me You can find me on my Facebook channel, facebook.com slash Twitch Tapang King. Uh, Twitch Tapang King. Uh, and then you can, you can go and check out my YouTube channel. I upload there whenever I feel like it, but you know, it's, <laughs> there's something, <laughs> but I, I plan to actually upload videos there on um, Twitch. Uh, it's youtube.com slash Tapang King. Also, please add me on Twitter. Uh, wait, wait, follow me on Twitter. Don't uh, follow me on Twitter. It's twitter.com slash Tapang King. I told you it's everything Tapang King. And then, mm -hmm. um, and Instagram, if you like, picture, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> I use Instagram. Maybe I don't. Maybe like instagram.com slash Tapang King. So basically, and then also, obviously, you can go and check me out on Twitch. I stream 9 p.m. PHT, or if you like GMT plus 8, too. I was, uh, you know, that's, yeah, GMT plus 8, 9 p.m. every day. So I do take breaks, too, because, uh, you know, I'm still human. But I do announce it on my Discord server. In a Discord server, just go in on chat, type exclamation point Discord, because, you know, I, there's no way to actually promote Discord servers. 
here. But that's that's where people hang out and chat, and you know, a um, bunch of bunch of the people in the community just share, you know, a lot of stuff. Not awesome. porn. Not porn. Oh, no, but, not, no. Not, not prawn. Not Sometimes porn. prawn. Not, there's there's no not safe for work channel there. There's absolutely nothing there. But go check it out, um, and that's it. Yeah. Awesome, and awesome. I, I will be recently streaming Overwatch. Um, yes! not, not exclusively. Mail, no, mail, not, mail, exclusively mail, no. Mail, not exclusively, no. Not exclusively, but mail. it's gonna be a major. But then when Monster Hunter World comes out, I'm sorry, Overwatch. You're just gonna be a <laughs> sorry. That's gonna be Monster Hunter for at, at least for, you know, the, until I get tired of it and then go back to Overwatch. But yeah, uh, watch me go and become the best May. Male May main <laughs> in Overwatch. There, I don't want to fight catches me out. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's it. All right, Diego, yeah. man. Yeah. Where can the folks yeah, at home street. find you when you're not on Game Bite? <sighs> All right, so when I'm not on Game Bite, you guys can find me on my Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash D-Z. I-N-S-T-A-D-E-E-Z-E-E. -E -E -E. Usually streaming Overwatch, but since there's a lot of games coming out in the upcoming months and, mm -hmm. you know, uh, there's just too many games, but not enough time. But I'm gonna find time, <laughs> find time to <laughs> stream those games. Uh, but for now, you're gonna be getting mostly Overwatch stuff. <laughs> not uh, find time. It's the start of the time. I cannot find you. <laughs> it's not possible. It's an it's it's, it's relative, you know. <laughs> yeah. um, also, um, yeah, like you can follow me on, tw on Twitter. Well, I barely use Twitter, but okay. And Instagram, which is also at InstaDZ. And also, like, um, when I'm not streaming, I'm also a freelance director. So if you guys want to have videos done, uh, edit videos edited, you can check out my web, uh, my website, which is www.diegoz.com. So yeah, that's it. Um, how about you, Harold? Where can the fine folks that don't find you when you're not on Game Bite? You guys can find me on the Quit Stalling Geekcast on Saturday, starting next week. Next week. 11 a.m. Philippine Standard Time, Friday nights, California time at 8 p.m. Uh, me and Diego host the Quit Stalling Overwatch Community Scrim Nights on Tuesday nights at uh, about 8.30 p.m. Philippine Standard Time. Uh, that's about 4.30 a.m. California. So, yeah, it's going to be fun. We always have great people, always have some fun shoutcasting. And, uh, yeah, Diego, we might have some news in the future. Who knows, right? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Who, Who could tell? <laughs> We might have some news about stuff coming in the, in the near future. You can find me at Harold Plays on any social media, be it Twitter, Instagram. Actually, that's just about it. Or on twitch.tv slash Harold Plays. Yes. Yes, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. And, of course, weekly here on Game Bite with Diego and Mick. If you guys want to find out more about Quit Stalling, check us out on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Quit Stalling Us. We're on Twitter as well, just like Top Bunking, at Quit Stalling Us. Uh, we're on Instagram at Quit Stalling. Uh, if you want to watch the VODs, they're all on YouTube. YouTube.com slash quitstalling. And of course, if you hit that video tab on Twitch, twitch.tv slash quitstalling, you can see all the VODs there as well. Uh, if you like the content you see, hit that follow button. Yeah, just hit it. Just hit it. Uh, right if there. you want to cheer. Right there. Yeah, if you want to cheer. Like the folks that you see, their names on screen, Nerf Diva, Elder Jin, hit that cheer button. Or you can Cry. subscribe to us. You know, just like how Tapan King gifted subs to all those lovely people tonight. Thank you yeah. so much, TK. That was awesome of you. Where's and Gibbs as well. Where, where's Gibbs and Chill? Where's Gibbs and Chill in the chat? Show yourself, Gibbs. DZs. Oh, DZ so motes. Awesome. Yes, the DZ, DZ motes. motes. Oh, you guys are awesome. And, uh, of course, all our podcasts go up on Stitcher, on iTunes, on Google Play. Uh, a lot of podcatchers. Pocket Casts, Overcast, iHeartRadio. So if you want to listen to all the goodness that we do on Quit Stalling, be it Game Byte or the Quit Stalling Geek Cast, download the podcast on iTunes, on Google Play, and so many more platforms. And listen to us on your commutes to work, during your gym workouts. Uh, if you're fighting with your loved ones and you just don't want to listen to it, you know, just put your earphones on and listen to the Quit Stalling Geek Cast or Game Byte. Just do that. Dropping Thank the kids you, everyone. Off the pool, yeah. yeah, oh, right. Dropping the kids off in the pool. You know, just you want to have some music playing while you do that? Quit Stalling yeah, yeah, Geek Cast yeah. or Game Byte. All right, guys. We'll see you next week. This has been an amazing show. DZ, we may or may not be on, so stay tuned to the schedule you see below. All those buttons on Twitch are there for a reason. Check them out. Check them out. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. For TK, for Diego Z, for the, 
for the absent right. Fury bot, Mick the Guzman, who had his molars pulled out. We'll see you guys next week. Oh, stay tuned and for the after show where, uh, where TK will, will tell us who to raid. Stay tuned for the after show if you're watching live. Ooh. But till next week, we'll be back same bite time, same bite channel. Get off your butts and quit stomping. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye everyone. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Bye. Bye. See ya.